Welcome viewers to Soft Udemy, a project control and engineering software academy. I am going to discuss with you about how to analyze my schedule. How can I diagnose my schedule? How can I check my schedule? How can I check my schedule's uh, ability uh, to be monitored? And what are the defects and what are the issues remain in my schedule? There are a lot of checklist for that one but the basic checklist which have been uh, uh, derived that is DCMA 14 checks 14 checks so we will uh, uh, do that one we cannot do that one individually and we cannot uh, generate a report it will take too much time I have a tool here a schedule analyzer on desktop scheduler with a scheduler analyzer and first of all I will clear all with the help of scheduler analyzer we can diagnose our diagnostic report can be generated from our disk scheduler analyzer also from this scheduler analyzer we can check our DCMA 14 point also we can say that our schedule health is this one we can load the XZR from desktop, press OK, it will take some seconds to be loaded. The file has been loaded now when we click this one and now when we click on schedule diagnostic, when we click this one, it will ask what is your higher duration? What is your higher float? So the question is that do you know what is your higher duration? So the higher duration is equal to if your project duration, if your project duration is uh, like uh, one year, then your duration, maximum duration should be four weeks, 28 days, not 44. But as per uh, different DMCAs, uh, DCMAs, they say that uh, 44 days should be a higher duration. But I recommend for one year project, it should be 28 days, not more than because the activities having a bigger degree duration cannot be monitored and there should be a lot of out of sequence in it. So also if the duration is 28 and also the float should be the same. I will generate right now when I will click on generate, the report will be generated and DCMA 14 matrix or checks has been done. We will review that one. So assessment criteria, you can see here assessment criteria. It's written here missing PD. That missing PD means missing predecessors. So the missing predecessor should be less than 5%. Also, you can see the detail number of links for incompleted activities 2612, incompleted activities are 1537. 1000 and total activities are 1607. So that one whole are that one is based on task dependent. So the task dependent activities are less than that one. So we will see here task dependent are 15, uh, 1537. You can see 1537. So that one area is for the task dependent and that area is for the milestone. So this is the links, links, links are the relationships. We, you can say here uh, predecessor and successor are relationships. Okay, now we will go for the missing predecessor. So the missing predecessor should be less than 5% of total number of activities. So the total number of activities are 15, 1537 and 55 activities are there. So that it should be 3.6%. So it's under 5%. And missing successor so missing successor activities are 109 that's more than 5% 7.09% that's not acceptable we can reduce that one because on task dependent if you have more uh, missing predecessor and successor there should be open ended uh, issues in each activity if you have a missing predecessor missing successor also your critical path breaks there the next one is negative lags the negative lags should be zero activity. 
there are 292 activities out of 1537 activities 19% it should be 0% here so that are also greater you need to remove all your tasks that have a negative lag the negative lag is also called lead lead is not acceptable in dcma so if you don't want to use that lead just don't want don't use lead if you have less lead like minus two days minus four days just uh, de decrease the duration or you can use start to start and finish to finish relationship to close and to remove that danglings also okay having lag the having lag should be five percent of the activities so the 10 activities having lag that one negative lags are leads so it's 0.65 percent it's under the control of dcma also finish to start relationship should be 90 percent and it's also 91 percent that's good and that should be uh, start to start and finish to finish should be 10 percent that's under control also start to finish task there should be not any start to finish task because start to finish task is a very very uh, difficult uh, as an uh, considered as an open ended also out of sequence chances are increased in that case so that's why it should be zero so in uh, this case also zero person and zero activity no hard constraints hard constraints are not assigned like a mandatory finish or a mandatory start because the mandatory start and mandatory finish also remove the critical path and it turn that one hold the path into zero float so it should be zero and uh, should be less than five percent and in this case it's zero and it's acceptable what about higher float higher float means you your activities do not have a complete uh, uh, float or do not have a complete path for example you have left an activity before four months so you haven't connected that activity to the relevant relationship so that's why that should be five percent and here it's 46.97 percent so your maximum activities are on higher float higher float it's, it's, it's not acceptable or it reduces the, the chances to be monitoring as an actual delay so if you do have a higher floats so you can you cannot uh, you cannot monitor your schedule on the base of critical path because whenever you update the float will be reduced 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 every time and to come up with a zero float it's very difficult to monitor that critical activities the next one negative float it should be less than five percent in this case zero and then because the it is the based on zero float that why negative float is zero right now higher duration their the activities do not have more than 28 days duration should be less than five percent here no activity okay then invalid actual uh, start zero invalid actual finish zero also invalid forecast start zero invalid forecast finish zero that's all invalid dates invalid dates means uh, there are uh, some dates you have uh, added uh, which are uh, not compatible with uh, the version so that uh, that one are uh, invalid dates so the next one no assigned resources so the activities uh, no assigned resources uh, should be zero tasks what does dcma considered uh, activities having uh, resources it considered it do not consider the activity should have resources in it so no activity should have been assigned with resources so it in dcma but we need resources to be uh, in our dcma but here it's in a dcma it do not consider and uh, no uh, no assigned uh, resources uh, with a zero task it should be zero task so in here 910 activity have a resources so it considered as a negative but i do not consider it as a is a red because it's acceptable you you need some resources here but uh, dcma do not allows also i will discuss on dcma in details uh, about all 14 points of our dcma uh, how they have been uh, considered in pmi and also i will describe each definition and each in uh, detail so in uh, in the matrix of the milestone missing predecessor and there are three for the the milestone uh, and the missing successor for uh, uh, finished milestone also 10 
uh, at that why it's showing uh, red highlighted higher floats also uh, 13 also negative float zero so all the detail have been given for the milestones here the 21 milestone activities are there so if you want to see the detail of loe what how many loes are there start milestone you can see from the dashboard so if you want to know how many activities have a task with a negative lag you can just filter here all the activities which have been uh, discussed up, uh, on the top missing milestone missing uh, task with high floats you can filter from here you know you will know about the activity ids and activity name and what are the values so you you will consider here and you can just go in the uh, primavera p6 and you can search that file easily from there so this is our today's content about how to check out how to diagnose your schedule about dcma14 matrix keep watching so me you can contact us with our whatsapp number given at the end of this video you can get this file from www.softedemy.com slash shop keep watching so we meet you in the next video